Okay, right back here in uh, zombie country, right? I think, I think we... we I think we have killed them all. We could go back to the... No, wait, to the man. Where was he? Right here. Back to go back to him and uh, grab the money he said he had. I don't really care about the money. And we don't care about the money. I mean, we have so much money that it's it, mm, it's not a problem. And then we are going to go straight into Baldur's Gate and. Uh, Hello, pal. Come on, talk Hello, to him. Pal. Why won't you talk to him? <laughs> Thanks, that's been real generous of you. Maybe we all can finally get a wink of sleep yet. Here's that the 150 gold pieces we promised you. If we had more, we'd give you. We, we, we'd give them to you. Okay. Should, perhaps I should have bargained. Nah, not really. That chicken was pushing me around. Oh, chicken. Should we sleep here or should we get into city? Into the city first. That was a noble deed. What? Killing zombies? Killing zombies is just fun. Shall we sleep here amongst the trees? Hmm, let's try. Oh, we are scattered. Come on. Hmm, I was thinking. It seems unreal to me that uh, once we get inside the... Inside Baldur's Gate... Uh, we... We shouldn't be... <coughs> Hunted or something because uh, we, when we killed those leaders in Candlekeep, of leaders of the Iron Throne, we were under uh, some orders. Maybe not exactly order. The order was not exactly to kill them, but we still were uh, doing what we were told by. The Flaming Fist of Baldur's Gate. The Flaming, the Flaming Fist is the... They are the enforcers of the law around here. So... If something goes wrong, I should be able to go to the Shop of Silence and stay there. Because it's neutral territory, right? And if I manage to find an entrance to the sewers, then I can navigate under the city. Probably. I didn't check if the map of the sewers ma uh, matches exactly uh, the city itself but uh, technically it would, wouldn't it? that's risky but um, let's get in let's, let's, let's do this alright whoops Hello, do you just materialized Hey guys, remember me? You're all but the sum. It's so good to see you all again. Lots has happened since you were gone. <laughs> You've... Yeah, I've been hearing all sorts of things. I heard you guys are wanted for murder... murders. Huh, so yes, murderers. Eh? So you are murderers. Well, I still like you. Hey, I have some more info for you. Do you want to hear it? Now this guy is that guy that is always drunk and yeah I remember meeting him, kind of. What do you have for us? Well, <laughs> quite a bit I have, quite a bit. Did you know about Dukaltan? He's diseased. Disease. He's a seconds in command, the scar got killed. Wow! <laughs> well that's news. Assassinated he was. So that's it. I got to go get going now. If you want to talk with me some more, just come by the Blushing Mermaid. See you. Oh well. Sounds like everybody we were depending on is now gone. Or incapacitated. Shall I 
Shall we go into the shop of silence? Let's see. If somebody knows something, they're in here. Supposedly. I recall you. Hard to forget a face when I see so few nowadays. Many a snicksman has been lost to the guard now that they seem intent on cleaning the streets to the bone. Sanctuary is free for the time being. Rest well. Okay. Let's see if we manage to wake up by night time. I don't really want to meet the guards. Right? But I should, I should be able to avoid them. I should. Where do I go? What is the closest entrance to the sewers? It's right next to here. Oh god. Hello people. Do you have something to say to me? Are you interested in some <laughs> I'm no angel but I've spread my wings a I'm bit. A trumpet, yeah, I don't suppose they have any information. It's yours. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Now, I have to hope that what's down here matches what's up there. Which I'm not sure. I'm not sure it does. So I'm trying to get... Uh, to the west. And I'm trying to get to the Iron Throne building, right? Who knows if I remember where it is. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Oh, well, we are here. Hello. Hey there, make sure you don't cause any trouble with our ladies. If you want to be rough with non-employees, then keep it to yourself. What? Oh, we are here. Well, at least we're safe in here, are we? Right? Look at Kristen, honey. What? It's the heroes of the Sword Coast. They're the real deal. Well, 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 dear. What have we here? Laid fodder? Christine. I don't know Sleet. You're so big and threatening. Oh, my mistake. I was thinking of someone else. Sleet. And Christine? How oh, she's got a tongue of steel and a heart of gold, my Christine does. And she's so pretty that she makes herself all invisible, so guys don't give her a hustle. Not that they would with a tough guy like me looking after her, of course. Sleety baby, you can tell them, honey. Oh, baby, you know me. You know you're Slithy. These guys are so pathetic. <laughs> hey, you. Don't go watching us. Go all mush mushy. All right. It ain't none of your business. What's that you're whispering, sweetheart? Hey, now, my girl Kristen tells me that yours all have a soft spot for the Grand Dukes. Sure is a shame about Enter Silvershed, isn't it? What? One down and two to go. Poor Dukes. Wouldn't have been better if they had all died together. So those guys are dying as well? The dukes, I mean, the dukes who governed this town? If I understood well enough. Blah. Christine, don't give it all away like that now. It's on, what do they call that again? The silver bladder? Oh, enough. Of this cat and mouse stuff, anyhow. I ain't cut out for it. We'll kill them now and do the dukes after lunch, like Sarevok said us to. You said everything, man. You're slaying the dukes one by one. Or at least this is what it seems. Um, I love you for your minds, Liz. Oh, we are fighting! <laughs> Alright. Um, how could I have imagined any other outcome? Really? <laughs> uh, 
What can I do with you? I'm going to target you with an acid arrow if I can. <laughs> that was pretty useless. But is she? No, that's Queen Ash. Monster number two, monster number one. Paralyze. I don't really need to paralyze him right now, but let's monster. Oh, well. Oh, she's there. Everybody kill her. Oh. Oh, I need to, to do something about her. Something ranged. Let's try this. She might be protected by that shield, but I'm gonna try. Oh! Don't mind me. That was quick and painless. Letters, magical sword, money. Don't need the crossbow. Don't need anything else. Hey guys, let's save. Whatever happened right now, let's save. The shadow's blade. Ooh, short sword of backstabbing. The Shadow's Blade was created to be the perfect assassin's tool. It is highly sought after by any who settle differences with a blade, and many that possess it do not do for so for so for long. Hmm. Could I even equip it this here? Yes, I could, but I want to give it to. <laughs> Kivan, you're the one who wants it. I wanted to give it to... Um, to you. He has no short... Nobody has short sword skill amongst us. So... Oh, I forgot to sell this. I forgot to sell this. I probably have never been into a shop. Fortitude. So, no, <laughs> let's equip these. They are a bit more useful at the moment. Let's read these letters, shall we? Sleeth, the time to strike is now. When the party commences on the night of my coronation, you will join up with my doppelganger assassins at the sewer entrance to the palace. You are to insinuate yourself into the crowd in the ballroom. When I have finished my speech, you will strike. If you aren't there, my doppelgangers will proceed without you, and your payment will be forfeit. Make sure to keep a leash on your little bitch of a wife. And an invitation to the party is included with this note. Sarevok. This looks to be an important note, one that you, you should hold on to. Okay, invitation. This is an invitation to the inauguration of the newest Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate. It will be held at the Ducal Palace. Present, present this invitation to the guard at the gate and you will be allowed entrance. This looks to be an important note and so on. This is an invitation, it is important. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Let's keep them right here. And these two people. What was up with them? Oh, these are bu bullets for the sling, are they? So maybe Branwen. Okay, bye bye, monster. Branwen has some ammo that's also enchanted, which is. 
great. <laughs> Look at all these. A dagger and another enchanted sling. Well, did we already? The sling we found in, in that village was it enchanted? I don't remember. Technically, yes, it's a plus one. Exactly like this one. Give one to her. This one we're gonna sell later. They don't really have any differences, right? Mm, and now... Gian, identify this, please. The Grave Binder, plus two. Discovered relatively recently by adventurers in the south, the abilities of this weapon went unknown for several years. Magical tones eventually revealed its extensive history as an assassin's tool and it was dubbed the Grave Binder. It was stolen soon after. Piercing. All right, that's a good dagger right here. In the heart of the golem, and you have another heart of the golem, right? Mm. Let's use this, give this to you or not. Three, six. Ah, the current is uh, 3, 8 and 3, 6 and uh, let's give it to Coram. Yeah, this two, one of these two blades can be sold. One I will keep, so I'm going to give it to Kagen. Then, what about this? Empiric Touch, Skull Trap, I'm gonna learn this. I'm going to give this to Nira. She cannot learn this? No. I'm gonna sort them later. Non-detection. This is useful, but... Not right now, maybe. Yeah, Nira has this already. Nira has this already. She has this one. And possibly that one. What is this, clairvoyance? I'm gonna give this to you and you learned it. And... Flame arrow. Yeah, there's nothing else I really want to give to Gian. You're full, right? Yeah. What about Gian? Mm. As much as he can. There we go. So we got everything and we met these guys. No clue who they are except friends of the enemy. We got a useful invitation. To the election of the Grand Duke. I wonder if. Uh, Hello. Nice to make the acquaintance uh, of such nothing. a cultured personage. I wonder if they could give me some info, but they can't. I'm curious about that named courtesan, but maybe we should just proceed with the game. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Yes. So where am I? Where can we go from here? Up? I'm not even sure if these sewers actually match 
the map above. I have not verified this, so we will have to just you must gather your go up. Am I exactly where I wanted to be? Are you kidding me? <sighs> okay, this was completely random. I just went general west direction. Something stranger. What? Brennan Riesling. Ayup. There'll be tensions rising between us and Ann. There'll be war soon and plague and pestilence. Better them than us, I say. Plague and pestilence? What from? What? Well, from the war, supposedly, but what from? From war, of course. Yeah. What else do you think would follow in its wake? That's why we need Sarevok as Grand Duke. Ah. For it take the resources from the Iron Throne and assist us. Attack first and fight the war on their soil rather than our own. As I told you, better them than us. So this is the plan. Oh, I wanna read that. Seems Sarivok is vying for the title of Grand Duke. His connection to the Iron Throne has made him popular with the masses, as many now equate the high quality of their iron with the surety of success in the coming war with Ann. Zombie infestation. Hmm. So we should get him here. Uh, this is gonna be dangerous. Well, I don't know what else to do, really. Important events. Oh, an invitation to the Ducal Palace, my next destination? Really? Do I have to go there directly? But I found these two people by chance. Okay, I'm going in here. Wish me luck. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Leave me be, or the guard will have you. Daniel, out of my way, interlo interloper. I'm getting off this sinking ship as fast as I can. Why are you so panicked? Is not Serevok in control? I will not debate that he's in control, but whatever his plans, they certainly do not have the good of the Iron Throne in mind. He has abandoned us in favor of his new position, that of soon to be appointed Grand Duke. We are simply to be cast off, and I would not be surprised if he marches the flaming fist through here tomorrow as a show of his stance on mercantile crime. <laughs> You're really not an honest guild, are you? Aside from Sarevok. Sarevok is to be a Grand Duke, how can this be? He has built up support by pledging to combat the very chaos he himself was sowing. I imagine he'll have a fantastic success rate too, seeing as how he's in total control with our leaders dead. I doubt that he will settle into a nice, quiet political life though. He seems set on causing as much destruction as possible, and I think he is intent on push pushing for a war with Am. Why would he purs pursue such a... <laughs> destructive plan. What could he gain from it? How should I know? I am no diviner. I only know business, and what he's doing makes very little economic sense. Had he wished to grow rich from dealing in ore, then I would have understood. 
had he kept the Iron Throne intact, he could have used this upcoming position as Duke to sanction Amn and increase our trading power over groups like the Knights of the Shield. As it is, he is seemingly intent on abandoning us and launching a bloodbath of war. Know this, the people believe in Serevok and it will take more than a blade to reduce his stature in the eyes of the public. How can people believe in him? Can they not see his nature? People see what they wish, and they really wish to see a savior. He offers stability and seems able to deliver. That is more than anyone has been able to give them so far. I tire of this chatter. If you feel you must strike me down, do as you wish. Do not expect me to wait around while you do it, though. I don't want to strike you down. Not necessarily, unless you decide to attack me. Oh, okay, pass, just pass, all right. Punk, wall, and who? Get out of my way, I don't care who you are, I just want out of here. And who are you? Punk is the name, and I'll thank you kindly to get out of my way, I don't care why you're here. Take all, all, your, all you wish if you are thieves. I just want to leave, that Sarawak has become too big for his breeches. Our leaders weren't... They dead before he declared the Iron Throne to be his. <laughs> well then, you won't mind if I held myself to your coffers, will you? But they are nearly empty regardless. Serevok has been making decisions on the sidelines for some time now, and it has cost us all a plenty. He does not seem concerned with profits or much of anything. The iron shortage became his pet project, but he has used it to inflame tensions instead of build business. He's brought us down, as sure as if he was some hero. What reason he would have to provoke a war, I don't know. Enjoy your looting, I'm living for good. W w well, what is the stuff? <laughs> I want the stuff now. <laughs> you say there is stuff around here? Yes. Oh. Gregor, who are you? Have you business here? <laughs> what does it matter? Everything is in shambles. Expected more resistance to my breaking in? What's going on here? There is very little going on here. Everything is falling apart as we speak. And one person is to blame. And uh, just who might that be? Sarevok is the false pound that surely did the deed. Did the deed. He craves the power of the Iron Throne, but for what purpose I do not know. He throws away gold like it was copper, and he uses our best laid plans to inflame governments instead of bargaining for wealth. He is in line to become a Grand Duke because of his efforts to fight his own chaos. But I doubt his coronation will stop his lust for carnage. Who are you, by the way? What are you doing here? <laughs> His efforts to fight his own chaos. Isn't that politics summed up very neatly? <sighs> I am here to clear my name of the murders of the Iron Throne leaders. Is that who you are? Then I owe you a, kni a knife in the gullet for what you have done. What? Did Serifo trick you into killing them, or did he just do it himself and then blame you? I'll kill you just to be safe, I will. For my father, someone will die tonight. Oh, God. Well... I missed the fight. Oh, and you have a magic short sword? Wow, I feel sorry. Maybe I clicked on the wrong uh, reaction, but... Uh, is it... Important. Well, it's just a short sword plus one that Kagen is gonna sell. Let's get even. Touch me not. You are unclean. <laughs> Alessia, you dare stand your ground a moment. I demand to know what is going on here. I have been sent from Sambia to determine why this branch of the Iron Throne has found the red, and I have found no one who will stand still more than a second. What in blazes is going on here? Well, 
When I task Sarevok seems to be the one in control now. Sarevok, that upstart? Then the rumors I've heard are true. Our regional leaders here are dead and Sarevok has assumed their roles. Ah, yeah. Such arrogance. No doubt he had a hand in their demise. I'll wager. I'll wager. That would explain why we have not been getting reports on progress here on the coast, but what could he be up to? I shall have to report these findings to my superiors at once. What is your name and rank here? I shall report of you as well. Lieutenant Jian in charge of security. Jian, I have heard that name before, but where? No matter, consider yourself dismissed. The Iron Throne washes its hands of this place and shall support it no longer. You are no longer needed. Inform the others, will you, or don't? We really don't care at this point. Good day and goodbye. Ah, so even the other ambassador was kind of a fake. Oh well, maybe it, it was not a fake. And she was called afterwards. Hello. You there, this is my kitchen. Do you have anything to say? Are you a friend? Not really. But what is the loot here? <laughs> No time to chit chat. Oh, hello. No time to chit chat. You want to talk? Come on. Weird thing. Why, hello, Gian. I suppose we should have expected you coming here. Bit of unfortunate business in Candlekeep, eh? What? What do you think of what happened there? I know that you are the unwitting dupe of Serevok, as we were, as were we. It would seem that he sacrificed our leaders just to discredit you knowing that you were perhaps the only ones that stood in his way. Of course, he also became our leader, of, our leader of the Iron Throne himself, but he seems quite beyond needing us now. Such disrespect to throw us away as he did. It hardly matters now, what with his coronation imminent. I'm sure the Ducal Palace will never quite be the same. I must go. Pleasure chatting with you. All right. Well, I suppose there would be stuff in here, but I'm not really interested in books, am I? I'm not really... I don't really think that I was supposed to be in here. Alright, maybe we can loot around here, Sitandria. Hmm, so you've come back. If you were smart, Gian, you would have left well enough alone. I don't know how you escaped my lord's trap at Candlekeep, but you won't be getting any farther than here. Why did you come back here? I would have thought that you'd go after Sarevok directly. Well, someone told us that this would be the place to go. Who told you to come here? Who betrayed my lord? It was Tamoko? Wasn't it? Who's Tamoko? I think it was a guy, actually. I always knew her to be a treacherous whore. Well, it matters little if she did or not. All that matters is that you will die. Oh god. Monster time! Mira? Wow, casting is indeed slow. It will be... Can I... Ah, let's try to sleep them. Mira? Can I dispel her? Oh, okay, something happened. Uh, wait, do not kill me, please. I I will tell you where to go to find my lord. The under, the under cellar is where you wish to go. It is there that you will find Sarevok. You can reach the under cellar through the sewers, please. Let me go now, I'm shamed by my lack of courage?
You're going to die. I'm not. I'm not letting anybody go with the risk of word spreading. Or yeah, you don't. You die. You do not give mercy. You are more like Sarevok than he would have imagined. Perhaps. Kill her. <laughs> Kill this one, you guys, kill this one before it comes up again. <laughs> this is... Uh... <laughs> it's crowded. <laughs> Quite crowded. <laughs> some letters, some arrows. A robe and a tome. Okay, again, from around here. All right then. Let's see about these letters that Kagan has. Sarevok, I have received your letter and I am quite overjoyed by your proposition. I've told my wife and she is as excited as I am. I accept your mission and uh, think that your payment is uh, very adequate. This will be our greatest feat yet, to kill three Grand Dukes of Baldur's Gate. We will be arriving in Baldur's Gate within a week and should be taking up our usual residence at the Undercellar. If you wish to contact us, you will find us there. Use the access points through the sewers. Joyfully yours is Leith. Alright, and... Uh, Sarevok, I must say that our first victim was not the challenge that my wife and I had expected. The foppish idiot had only the most token of defenses. However, I can assure you that Enter screamed quite deliciously all the way to the end. Ah, this is Enter Silver Shield. I hope that this next mission is much more difficult from what you have told me it would seem to be. Assassinating two Grand Dukes in their own palace while they harangue the High Nobles of Baldur's Gate. No less. I can't wait. You still know where to find us. You should come down and enjoy the pleasures of the Undersellers for yourself. But I know you. That will never happen. Your obedient servants leave. Alright, 